Hundreds of people made their way to downtown Bryan today for the annual Fiestas Patrias Parade and Festival. It's one of the many events being held throughout the Brazos Valley to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. News 3's Donnie Tuggle brings you the sights and sounds of this annual tradition. Hundreds lined William J. Bryan Parkway near downtown Bryan on Sunday to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, a tradition that began in the 90s to unite the community, honor the culture, and mark Mexico's independence. The event draws organizations, businesses, city leaders, and many Bryan ISD teachers and students, including Daniel De La Rosa and Jane Long Intermediate. Oh gosh, it's super fun. I mean, it, we've done this for a couple of years already. The kids sometimes pass out candy. Um, it gets the you know our faculty together. We Hello. built these 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 amazing floats that get better every year. It's it's been great. The event also awards scholarships to high school students, adults, and educators who are pursuing their higher education. Jacob Felipe and Abigail Ramirez, this year's King and Queen and scholarship recipients, say they consider it an honor to represent and showcase their pride and culture. I love that we get to celebrate our traditions together as a community, so this, is, this means a lot to us as we're all celebrating together. Independence Day is a day that we can celebrate our cultures, showcase everything that we've done as a, as a country, and overall just have a fun day. Most importantly, participants say this is an opportunity for their community to feel acknowledged and represented. We are all come from somewhere and it's, it's just really great to see the parents come out and just show the kids what, you know, the beautifulness of the culture. It means a lot that I get to represent every single little girl who's gonna be here at the parade and who aspire to be someday be chosen as queen as well. So I think it's awesome that I get to be a leader and be here for the people in my community as a Hispanic woman. And Brian, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. In 1968, Congress authorized the president to annually proclaim National Hispanic Heritage Week, later expanding it to a month-long celebration from September 15th to October 15th.